Hello friends, welcome to my new data structures and algorithm in Java tutorial series video. Friends, in this tutorial we will discuss how to reverse a singly linked list in Java. So friends, suppose we have a linked list with nodes say 10, 8, 1, 11 and we provide this linked list as an input. So after its reversal, the linked list becomes something as 11, 1, 8, 10. So basically it reverses the list. So here 10, 8, 1, 11 gets reversed and becomes 11, 11, 1, 8, 10. So let's see this algorithm through a demo. So here we see a singly linked list having four nodes say 10, 8, 1, 11 and where head points to the first node. So in order to reverse this singly linked list, here is the algorithm. So we'll see how this algorithm makes the singly linked list reverse. So the first step of execution would be we'll create a list node by the name say current and a value of head will be assigned to it. So, so currently head points to the first node. So similarly the current will point to the first node which is 10 and moving ahead. Then we'll create one more node which will point to null. So the name of this node would be previous. Moving ahead. We'll create a node by the name next and we'll assign a null value to it. So the basic idea of this algorithm is to traverse each node one by one and, and apply some logic to reverse the position of the nodes. So in order to traverse each node one by one, we'll apply a while loop and in while loop we'll place a condition that till current becomes null, we'll iterate this while loop. So here we'll see this current points to first node and it's not null. So this while loop executes. And then what we'll do here we see this next points to null. So we'll assign the current's next node to it. So if you see current points to the first node and its next point to the second node. So we'll assign current's next value to the next node. So then it will become something like this. Moving ahead, here you see the current next which is this pointer, it points to the second node and previous points to the null. So idea is to break this pointer and provide it a null value. So we, what we have done is we will do current dot next and we will assign a null value to it. So it will look something like this. So moving ahead. And to our previous node, we'll assign a value which current holds. So it will be the first node. So it will become something like this. Moving ahead. And then to simply current, we'll assign the value which is in the next. So after the first iteration, if I rearrange this nodes, it would look something like this. So this is the condition with the first while loop. Now we'll again execute the while loop and we'll see that current is equal to null or not. So current points to the second node which is not null. So this while loop executes. Then we'll, we'll, we'll perform the same steps. So here we'll provide the current's next value to the next node. So here current next is the third node. We'll assign current next value to the next node. And similarly to current next will provide the value which is present in the previous so so here if you see that current next pointer points to the third node so we'll remove this link and we'll assign it what the previous holds so here previous points to the first node so we'll do something like this so the current next now points to the previous which is the first node so moving ahead to this previous now we'll assign the value current so moving ahead now we'll simply assign whatever the value present in the next to the current. So the current traverses to the third node. We'll again iterate the while loop and we'll check whether current is equal to null or not. So here current points to the third node which is not equal to null. So this loop executes. And similarly, now we'll assign current next value to the next. So it will look something like this. Moving ahead, 
and to current next will assign to the previous so it becomes something like this moving ahead will make previous point to current and finally will make current to point to the value which next points so it will tell us the fourth node and again we'll check whether current is equal to null or not so it's not equal to null so now next point to current's next so so here current's next point to null therefore the next will be pointing to null moving ahead and to current's next will assign the previous node value so it will look something like this and will traverse previous to point to current so it will look something like this so finally we'll assign current the value of next which is null so now we'll again execute while loop and we'll see whether current equals null or not so here current equals null so therefore this condition comes out to be false and the while loop breaks out so the last step would be to return the previous so this previous becomes our new head so if you see the initially head pointed to 10 and then 8 1 and now as previous becomes our new head so now the linked list is reversed so the first node is 11 second is 1 third is 8 and fourth is 10 and then it points to null so here previous becomes our new head and we ex exit our algorithm so friends let's go to eclipse and see demonstration of this algorithm so friends in our previous tutorial we created one singly linked list so here if i just remove this part and if i run this java program so you see we initially we have created a singly linked list having the nodes as 10 8 1 11 and they are interconnected so let's reverse this singly linked list so in order to reverse this singly linked what we'll do we'll create a method whose return type is the list node and we'll give a method name as reverse so this reverse method will take the head of the singly linked list so we'll say list node head now the first step would be we'll simply check whether head points to null so if it points to null we'll return the head so if head equals null so we'll simply return head and moving ahead we'll code our algorithm so we'll create a list node say current and assign a value of head to it then we'll create a list node previous and assign null value to it we'll create a list node next and assign a null value to it and now we'll create a while loop so the condition in while loop would be current not equals null so here while loop execute till current becomes null so here to our next we'll assign the value as current dot next and to current dot next we'll assign value as previous to previous we'll assign the value which current holds and finally to our current we'll assign the value which next variable holds and the last step would be to simply return previous because previous becomes our new head so we'll return the previous so this is the algorithm so let's see its demonstration so here i will call the reverse and provide the head and list node so whatever the return from this reverse method will be our head of the reverse list so 
so we will simply display it now so we run this program now so here you see initially the list was 10 8 1 11 and last node was pointing to null and now it becomes 11 1 8 10 where 10 points to null so so this is how we can reverse a singly linked list in java so friends hope you like this video please like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel you can also visit my blog the link is provided in the description thanks have a nice day